morning. Hey, this is just a quick reminder that we are taking our 100K Realtor class on the road next week on the 24th from 10 to 12 uh, in Columbus, Ohio. So all you Columbus Realtors, I uh, wanna see you there. We're gonna be dropping some, uh, some knowledge. Hey, um, my youngest son, Hunter, went to, we didn't, went to dinner with him on Friday night and, um, and he was really excited about an opportunity he had for uh, the student council. He's in, uh, he's in fifth grade. And it was, so it was first opportunity he had to go and uh, be a part uh, of student council. He was really excited. He was talking uh, at dinner about it, about what aspects of it he was excited about on Friday. And, um, and so all he had to do was go to class on Monday when the teacher asked who was volunteering, um, he had to raise his hand and say, you know, I'm, I'm volunteering, I wanna be a part of student council. And, um, and I get home yesterday, I'm really excited to ask him about, you know, if he volunteered for student council and, you know, how excited he was about it. And um, he said he didn't volunteer. And uh, he said he didn't raise his hand. And, and I, you know, and I said, why? And he said, well, you know, you gotta do all this stuff. There's like, you know, you, sometimes you miss recess and um, so, you know, you have to go to the, the, the third and fourth grade when there's a fundraiser and talk to them about the fundraiser. And, um, and all the time in my head, I'm thinking, you know, I, I wasn't disappointed in him. I was disappointed that he'd made the decision not to, not to, not to try to, have someone or not to try to have the class elect him for student council. And, um, and so, you know, I, I, I didn't really know how to respond at the time. And so, you know, I just said, oh, okay, man. And, and, uh, and so I went, I really wanted to think that through. So yesterday evening, uh, when I got back with my older son from cross country, I went back up into his room and was talking to him about you know, the decision he had made. And I started to think about um, how in real estate, oftentimes, like we take the easy way out, right? And so, and, and we do that, we do that in life in general. And, and what happens is there's a compound effect to those decisions where we think we're taking the easy way out, but we're actually, we're actually taking the hard way. And so when, when I went up to him to talk to him in his room, I, I was talking to him about how these easy way out decisions have a consequence like and so like I'll give you an example you know if you if you make a decision if every day you know you need to lead generate in order to have a uh, a fruitful business in real estate and you know you don't you just don't lead generate um, or sometimes you lead generate or sometimes you don't or sometimes you come in and lead generate for a couple a couple, maybe an hour or, or 45 minutes and you say, oh, you know, I, I lead generated today, but you, you know, you, you really didn't give it, you didn't really give it the time it you need in order to create that business. And so what happens is, you know, that day your decision to not lead generate was really easy and, and maybe there was no consequence that day, but you know, maybe you do it another day and, and maybe you do it the day after that. And, and then all of a sudden, you know, you're having a bad month and then all of a sudden you're having a bad year. And so my point here is, is that, you know, while compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world, there's also a negative effect to, to your bad decisions and compound interest works the other way as well. So if you're, if you, you know, if you're making bad decisions in your life, you know, about your health, about your wealth, um, about your family, about your business, you know, it's important that you catch yourself and you don't make those decisions, um, that you win the small battles. Because when you win the small battles, when you win those, when you make, when you make those little decisions that, that have a compound effect, that's where success is in real estate and in life. And, um, and so we're gonna be talking about that on Tuesday at our event in Columbus, how to win the small battles, how to, how to, Make sure that you um, prepare yourself that when you when you're 
faced with those small decisions or those small battles that you always win. And so I hope to see you all there. Again, that event will be in Columbus on Tuesday, the uh, 24th of September. Go to 100krealtor.com and, uh, and make sure you register. Thanks for watching.